G'day, Paul here, out in the front garden, and uh, today's reading is coming from the book of Ephesians, from chapter 4, and the heading is the unity and the maturity in the body of Christ, and Paul writes this, he says, as a prisoner for the Lord, because he was writing from prison in Rome, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Now that's a big call, but it's what he wants us to do. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. He's talking to us who are part of the body. Christ is the head, but we're part of the body of Jesus Christ. And so bearing one another in love and making every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. He is in us and we are in him if we are one of his disciples. But to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. Verse 11. So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors and the teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. That's hard to get your head around, but he wants us to become like Christ is to the world. Verse 14, then we will no longer be infants, tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of people in their deceitful scheming. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head that is Christ. So he's wanting us to become the mature body of Christ. From him the whole body is joined and held together by every supporting ligament and it grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. Isn't that a wonderful concept? You know, he, he's wanting us to be growing in maturity and in unity as his body, growing together, building each other up in love as, as all the ligaments and all the joints and all the parts of the body grow together to be Christ in the world. And, and it also says in the Bible that the whole earth groans waiting for the sons and daughters of God to be revealed. They're waiting for us people who are struggling, people who are lost, people who are out in there in darkness are waiting, desperately waiting for the sons and daughters of God to be revealed so that they too may get to know who their creator is, may get to know that they're loved, may get to know they're forgiven and may get to know that they have a purpose as part of the kingdom of God. That's our meditation for today from Ephesians 4. You get into the Word. Read it for yourself. And may the Word get into you. We'll see you later. Have a good day.